What's up, skate fam? Welcome to D Skates, and welcome to my new skating skills tutorial series for inline skaters. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform the perfect crossover technique for inline skating by breaking down the components of the crossover. First, please click the like button so that YouTube will share this video with more skaters and make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified when I release each new tutorial in this series. The forward crossover is an important basic skill for every skater to know. It's essential not only for turning effectively, but also for changing direction quickly and generating power through a turn. Ideally, this tutorial is for those who have already learned the basic idea of the forward crossover and are looking to make their technique better. But if you've never done it before, you can still learn it here with some things in mind. The prerequisites for this move are, one, you need to be comfortable skating forward. Two, you should be able to glide forward on one foot. Three, you should be able to turn in both directions. Once you're comfortable with those skills, it's time to learn the first step of the forward crossover. For this first exercise, we're going to glide in a circle on one foot at a time, stepping from the inside to the outside foot in an alternating motion. To begin, stand straight up, making sure to focus on pushing your chest forward so your back is perfectly straight. Bend the knees slightly and open your chest toward the inside of your circle by extending both arms out. If you're turning left, the right arm will be forward and you'll be reaching the left arm into the center of the circle slightly toward the back. Note the V-shape that this makes rather than having one arm straight forward and the other straight back. Your arms and hands should be pointed straight all the way to the fingertips. Don't look down at your feet, but instead raise your head up and look in the direction you're going. We'll start by skating in a counterclockwise circle. First, the outside stroke. With your left leg to the inside, bend your knees and shift most of your balance to the inside leg. Then, execute a forward stride by pressing the right leg out to the side. As your outside leg extends, you'll need to shift all your weight to the inside leg. Glide for a moment on the inside leg keeping the knee in a nice bent position. Bring the outside leg back underneath your center next to the inside or left leg, placing your feet close together. Shift your balance onto the outside or right leg and raise the left leg, bending your knee as the leg comes up. Glide for a moment on the outside leg and set the inside leg back down under your center next to the outside leg. Repeat this exercise for a while to help you develop your comfort with it. The important thing to keep in mind is that because you're turning in a circle and not skating forward in a straight line, you will always be leaning over onto your edges, no matter what part of the exercise you're in. For this counterclockwise circle, the left foot will lean to the outside edge and your balance will be placed evenly toward the back part of your foot, about 50-50 between the center of the foot and the heel. When you're on the right foot, you'll be over the inside edge, also with your weight evenly spread across the back portion of the edge. Make sure when doing this that your shoulders are activated but relaxed. They should not be tense. Once you're comfortable with our marching stroke exercise, it's time for crossovers. Skating in the counterclockwise circle again, begin with the same stroking motion we started out the marching exercise with. Press the right leg to the outside, extending the leg all the way. Point the toe by pressing into the boot with the ball of your foot. As you glide on the left leg, bring the stroking leg back toward your center, but this time you're going to step over the inside leg toward your circle. At this moment, we have both feet on the ground, and this is the point where your balance now shifts from the left leg to the right leg. With the left leg underneath the right, use the left leg to push off of the outside edge, reaching that left leg all the way out from your circle until it is 
fully extended. Now we're gliding fully on the right leg and we can recover the left leg back underneath our center to restart the crossover exercise. Notice that the perfect crossover is not executed by simply stepping one foot over the other, but instead by doing a powerful stroke to the outside, crossing the outside leg over, and performing a second powerful stroke by extending the inside leg to the outside underneath the leg that is now in front. Hey, sorry, I was editing and I realized that I completely skipped over this exercise that I intended to put in the video, so let me just cover this real quick. This is an off-skate exercise that is going to help you develop the balance that you need for this move. Maybe it'll make it a little easier to work on in your skates once you've practiced this a bit. So we're gonna start by assuming the, the position straight up and down, just like you would when you're skating forward. Let's say you're skating in a counterclockwise circle like we covered in the video. On your left leg, you're gonna bend here and you're gonna bring this knee together with this knee. It's okay if it's slightly in front, but it's gonna basically be right next to the other knee. We're gonna have a nice deep bend, chest pushing forward, left arm toward our circle, right? Cause we're traveling this way and right arm up. And then we're gonna extend the leg all the way out like our forward stroke. And you can touch your toe, activate all this here in your leg from the glute the side, the, the adductors, the abductors, all of that, all the way down and point your toe, keeping this arm forward and your eyes and head up. Bring your foot back in and repeat. And then we can change on the other side, bend and repeat. Extend and recover, extend and recover and then for the crossover part you want to assume that same position assuming we're traveling in a counterclockwise and we're crossing the right leg over the left leg we're going to go ahead and step off to the side we're gonna cross transfer our weight from this leg that's now in the back just like we do when we're skating bend the front knee, extend this leg. Again, activating everything in that back leg, extend all the way out, hold your balance. And so when you're skating forward, you're gonna be on one leg at a time briefly, but you wanna be able to hold your balance on that leg. You don't wanna be stumbling when you step like this. We don't want any of that. We want a smooth transition from standing on the left leg, stepping over, bending deep, transferring the weight to the right leg, and then extending out with a push, activating everything in the leg, pointing the toe as you lift and recover for the next stride. I hope that helps and back to the video. Developing the perfect crossover technique is not easy and will take many repetitions until you can perform it correctly and comfortably. Be patient with yourself and most importantly, remember to have fun learning. The next tutorial in our series is the perfect backward crossover. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you feel like you got some value from it and I will see you the next time I lace up.